Hi, this is Ed, and welcome to Esoteric Detective. First, let me just apologize for returning with my real voice to this channel. I know you guys voted me off, but of late I've had a few technical problems with my text-to-speech engine, Emma, so at the moment I have to use my real voice. Anyway, if you bear with me over a few technical issues over the next few days, it will not be long until I have everything sorted out. But in the meantime, let's head into the Mandela Effect mailbag number 6. It would seem that residue of the Berenstein Bears has been found. This was first brought to my attention by well-known Mandela Effect researcher Life Matrix. A link to his channel will, as always, be placed in the description under Source. If we look at an overseas website, we can see what Life Matrix is calling residue from the old spelling of Berenstein Bears. And not only one spelling, but it would seem that all the spellings are spelt this way on the website. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically a number of Mandela Effect researchers have pointed out that Berenstain Bears has always been spelt Stein, that is ending in Stein to them, not Stain, which history now says it has always been spelt. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is a simple misprint? Or is this evidence that something is editing history? Anyway, let's move on to the next item on our list. This was sent in to me by one of my subscribers and I found it very interesting indeed. Since a number of people with the Mandela Effect remember that the United States always had 52 states, but it would seem that it has always had only 50 states. At least that's what history always says now. And the only debate is, at least in history as it is today, as if it had 48 states or 50. But how does that explain this old video, sent in via a user? The counts of the United States as having 52 states, that is, just how people with the Mandela Effect remember it. Let's take a look. The annual Miss America contest gets underway at Atlantic City, New Jersey, with Miss Pennsylvania and 51 other misses not to be missed. Do you guys remember the United States ever having 52 states? Well for you has it always been 50 states? Next in our mailbag is another image sent in by one of my subscribers. And this is a picture of the old Volkswagen logo. These screenshots were taken from Season 2, Episode 3 of the famous UK car show called Top Gear. In the screenshots we can see the old Volkswagen logo. That is, just how people with the Mandela Effect remember it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is how history says the Volkswagen logo has always been. That is, it has a line between the V and W sign. Well, what do you guys remember? Do you remember a line between the V and W? Or has it always been how history says it is? At least for you. Next in our mailbag, there seems to be a new star sign. At least NASA has included it into our star signs that is if you follow the zodiac. They have added in what they call an ancient star sign from a constellation. But that is not the problem in itself. The problem is people with the Mandela effect never remember the star sign ever existing, not even in ancient signs of the zodiac. But it would seem how history says it is today is that the star sign always existed. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you recognize it? Let us know in the comments section. In other news, I was sent this article by a subscriber, which links to a strange report that shows that people in the Shirley Temple fan club had to grieve twice. They say even though she died in 1995, a lot of members actually found themselves grieving again when she died in 2014. That is, almost 19 years later. And all that time, a number of diehard fans thought that she was dead. So not only did they say that she died twice for them, but this is years past the age of the internet. So how is it possible that a number of diehard Shirley Temple fans could find themselves not looking her up, not even once over that 19 years, still thinking she died in 1995? In fact, in the day of the internet, it almost seems impossible for someone with such a love for their idol not to know if they were alive or dead for almost 19 years. One fan even stating, I can't believe I have to go through this again, 
said fan David Oakes from Pittsburgh, New Jersey. I remember back in 1995 I spent two or three days locked in my room because I was overwrought thinking about a world without Shirley Temple. It took me a couple of weeks before I was whole again. I lost 13 pounds and watched all of her movies twice. In the last 20 years, I've healed as much as someone who has lost a piece of their heart can. Now, I'll have to do it all over again. This is David commenting in 2014. That is when he found out Shirley Temple had, well, died again. This, at least to me, does not seem to make any sense whatsoever, since I could not understand this happening to someone who was such a die-hard and loyal fan. But for a die-hard fan not to notice their idol is alive seems to be something from the Twilight Zone. Next to our mailbag, a Reddit user has caught yet more of the now famous Bible verse change, at least for those with the Mandela effect, who always remember the Bible verse being, the lion shall lay down with the lamb, not as it is today, or as history shows it, the wolf shall lay down with the lamb. Can you see it, Ursula? Can you make out what it is? No. Can't you? Up there on the summit, the lion lays down with the lamb. Can you see it now? Yes. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> but this is not the only time the phrase from the famous Bible verse has been caught in music and film, of course. Let's take a look at some others quickly from my documentary on the Mandela Effect called Red Pill, which of course will be linked in the description under source. If it without money, people like us ain't got no chance at all. But it ain't always gonna be that way, James. It says so right in the Bible. The day will come when the lion will lay down with the lamb. Yeah, but only the lion gonna get up. <laughs> but we must end the voice of weeping in Israel. Barabbas, your zeal blinds you to the truth. The new Jerusalem will not be built by murder and uprisings. The wisdom of God will fill the land as water fills the sea. The lion will lie down with the lamb. There will be no more killing or destroying. And the voice of weeping shall be heard no more. The lion will lie down with the lamb. And the lion shall lay down by the lamb. And the lion shall lay down by the lamb, oh yes. And the lion shall lay down by the lamb, oh yes. What we asked him to do, now we want to go into more detail and we're going to ask Dr. Tom McCall who is with Zola Levitt Ministries in uh, Dallas, Texas, the same question. Dr. McCall, how would you describe the Millennial Kingdom? When he returns back again to the earth. And it's going to be different from uh, other reasons. The whole world is going to be pacified. The animal kingdom is going to be pacified. The lion and the lamb will lie down together. The lion and the lamb will lie down together. The lion and the lamb will lie down together. You might wonder how this is all possible. Well, this is the question that many people with the Mandela effect are asking themselves. How is it possible that such a famous Bible verse has changed so much. That is, not a normal Bible verse, 
but a truly iconic one. But you might ask, what do scholars have to say about the change in the Bible verse? Well, let's take a look at one. In fact, let's see what a pastor of a ministry has to say himself. Get situated here. I hope everybody's ready for this. You'll see what I mean as we go along. This will be the most important message I've ever given. These issues seem to be specific to the King James Bible, which we teach from. In Isaiah 11, most everybody's familiar with this. They may not know it as Isaiah 11. But the question is, what shall lay down with the lamb? At home, answer out loud. The lion shall lay down with the lamb, etc. Now in this reality it says, the wolf shall lay down with the lamb. And again, like I said before, check it out. Now lamb associates, the lamb associates to Jesus And the lion, furthermore, associates to Jesus, who is the lion of the tribe of Judah. The wolf usually associates with evil and with Satan, as in the scripture that says, beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. I think we've all heard that. Now, I want you to... Anyway, this is probably the most ominous Mandela effect for a lot of people, the most disturbing. But what do you guys think? Is something really editing history? Or is this some kind of anomalous event that we have just have yet to understand? Maybe all some kind of mass delusion or misremembering? I'll let you guys decide. But whatever the case, stay tuned and subscribe to Esoteric Detective to keep up to date with the strange and unusual and please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And do let me know what you think in the comments section. Until next time, goodbye.